So the first step in creating your Discord uh, signal bot is you're going to need a Discord account and you will need to go to this URL, uh, discord.com developers applications. Once that is done, you will click a new application and we will name this uh, signal bot. <clears throat> Once that is created, we will go to bot and add our bot there. We will need to get our um, authentication token right there and copy that and paste that into our uh, code. Uh, this will be used for uh, later. Um, we'll see how it is implemented uh, later on in the video. Um, once that is done, we will set the permissions to administrator uh, for this tutorial. I would not recommend doing that for um, a bot that you are using in real life, but you can definitely do that uh, here for this tutorial. Um, once that is done, we will go to. Uh, we're going to go back to Discord and we will create a server. We need a server to for our bot to run on. Uh, we will call it Trading Signals. There we go. And we'll create a new channel called Signals. So this is um, this is going to be where our uh, bot will post. Uh, what type of stocks should be uh, bought or sold. Uh, once that is done, we will go to our, um, well, we're not going to go into our code yet. We will go back to our uh, developer portal and we will go to, uh, we'll go to our OAuth2 uh, to make sure our bot is authenticated. So we will click bot here and copy this URL and paste that into our Chrome br browser. And then we will select our trading signals to uh, run on and authorize that. And if you got this message, that means that uh, you have your signal bot and it is able to uh, run. So with that being said, I will now run the uh, bot. So I copy this ID and paste this in here. We'll then run the bot and I will explain how the bot works. So what's going on right now is uh, it's just doing a basic uh, setup and it is calling a scheduled uh, function. You can see the function uh, Yes, and this seems to be working. So we can see the uh, function right, uh, right here. So what this is saying here is once every hour we will call the method uh, show signal, and we will get the channel ID of uh, signals. Uh, this is how we know. This is how this is how the bot knows uh, which text channel. Uh, we will, it will be setting these signals too. Uh, once that is done, we will be looping through all of our uh, tickers. And this is basically found from uh, from the get tickers uh, script, as you can see here, and this class and this method. So this is being called, and this is basically. All this is doing is it's just scraping this whole uh, list of penny stock symbols, and it's using this to be um, basically as the uh, the uh, list of stocks that the script is going to be looking up with a with a trading view. So with that being said, um, we go back to our main code here. We're calling our uh, trading view webhook, and it is uh, looping through all of our penny stock uh, tickers and on the American uh, Nasdaq exchange, and we're looking at the five-minute time intervals. Uh, this is pretty good for day trading. Um, 
say if you wanted to do swing trading, you might you might want to look at the the one day or the thirty day time time intervals as well. Um, what this is doing here is it's just formatting the uh, data of the ticker and the recommendation we got from uh, trading view into a pandas data frame um, and then it will be spitting it out to the uh, discord once it is created uh, if it is not found on the exchange it will be printed out to the console here uh, as you can see we, we have a few that we haven't really found actually quite a few but we, we still have um, quite a few uh, penny stocks that we did find on the American NASDAQ. So that's good. Um, right. So while this is running, uh, we can also do do commands. So if we wanted to know the uh, time that the script was uh, run, we would do show time. And it was 1839. Uh, this is a military time. So that would be about uh, 639. Uh, it was 6.42, so this thing ran about, you know, a few minutes ago. So that seems pretty accurate. Or if you wanted to see the, the full universe of uh, stocks, not just the ones that were found on the exchange, you would do uh, show stocks. So these commands are actually defined uh, here on bot.command and bot dot show time and the way that this bot actually knows that this is a command is with this line here um, here we are creating our uh, commands bot um, object and we, we have our command prefix is an exclamation mark and that is how we are able to create uh, these commands and lastly, uh, we have our uh, bot dot event and on ready. Uh, this is only run uh, once the script is. This is only run um, the first time the script is being called. So, if the market were open, it will say that the market is open, and it will notify the uh, signal um, the signal channel that the market is indeed open. And down here, we just have our uh, loop being uh, set up and the, uh, the uh, signal being started and our entire bot being run. So now that we have this uh, code explained, we can now do a uh, simple test. So let's look back at our signals. Uh, here we have BCLI, that's a strong buy. So let's look at our, uh, yeah, so that looks like a pretty strong buy there. We have our crossover um, and our RSI. So it looks like the stock is going up. I would definitely buy this um, if the market were open. Uh, here is REFR. Let's take a look at that. And once again, I would also buy this stock uh, and sell for later if the market were open. Now, one thing to uh, to uh, keep in track or um, to, to to remember is the intervals. Um, here we have the five minutes. If we wanted to look at the at the one day, we would do uh, one one day. And it would restart. So this is a, it's going to be an entirely diff, uh, different chart um, that our bot is going to be looking at. Instead of the simple uh, five day, we will be looking at our, um, we'll be looking at the one, the one day. The, instead of the five minute chart, we'll be looking at the one day chart. So here we have the IFMK. Let's, at that <clears throat> so 
so five minutes it's it's going down um well it looks like it's going sideways but if you look at the one day uh i, I would probably buy the stock i think and let's look at um let's look at a strong buy case so admp Yeah, and that price is just which is just going up. But if we look at if we look at the five minute, well, you know, they both seem to be uh, correlating. So maybe it's just a it's just a good stock to a uh, to a buy at the time. Uh, once again, this isn't financial advice. This is just an educational video for. How to build a uh, Discord uh, signal bot? Uh, let me know down down in the comments if you have any more questions, and um, I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching the video.